use it. But I'll be really sad if uh, someone doesn't come and pick it up. Hello. Um, we're, many of us are programmers here, and our humor is known to be quite geeky. And I'm from the Pearl 6 channel, and our humor is known to be quite geeky and kind of self-referential because we like bootstrapping things and metaprogramming and stuff like that. So I'm going to introduce to you, and by extension to the world, autopuns. Autopuns are the metaprogramming of jokes. This is the third and last time I'm giving this lightning talk. I'm feeling quite nostalgic. After that, the, the sort of target audience has been saturated and I've done my work and I'll just have to sit back and watch as autopuns spread through the world. What is an autopun? It's when you intentionally mix up the use and the mention of something to create humor. I will give you a few examples and step you through them so that you can see exactly what it's about. For example, some people, when confronted with a problem, think, I know, I'll use multithreading. I have two problems. <laughs> now, <laughs> so, <laughs> here you see exactly, first we mention the thing and then we use the thing. There's no particular reason to do that, but it becomes funny for some reason. Here's another example. Main mall maintenance shop. We can repair anything. Please knock hard on the door. The bell doesn't work. So you see, use, use and mention. There's no sense to it, but that's all to point to. I will now not show the example. Uh, Wikipedia has been known to be an unsourced place. So, you get the idea now. The argument from authority is the weakest form of argument. According to Jesus. This is an actual problem between us. Is confirmation bias prevalent? Yes, I see it everywhere. Epistemological relativism may be true for you, but it's not true for everyone. So, and then we have, uh, there are two types of people in the world jokes. Those who finish what they start. <laughs> or there are two types of people, those who procrastinate and the other type which I'll describe later. <laughs> this is my favorite. There are ten kinds of people, those who know binary and nine others. That was the last time I got to do that. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Haikus are easy, but sometimes they don't make sense. <laughs> circular logic is the best kind of logic because it's circular. <laughs> Doesn't make sense either, by the way. This is frustrating. I want to find out what je ne sais quoi means, but none of the dictionaries seem to know. This one absolutely doesn't make sense. That's not how you use a dictionary. That's not how I use a dictionary. What do you say, Mr. Kinnock, to all those people who accuse you of blatant electioneering? Vote for me. <laughs> you know, you see them coming and it's still funny. So I had this kerning problem and Jonathan was sitting at me on the train I was and taunting me about camming problems. It took me a while until I realized that I had I had basically been trolled by an autopan. <laughs> so, and then someone also on Twitter decided to pull a randomly selected word out of the dictionary. The word? Predetermined. <laughs> and remember, folks, according to the study of the Office of Incomplete Information, eight out of every ten. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs>